Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you this morning. It is Monday, and we have our weekend sales to pull. So I'm going to turn over to Kathy, and we're going to see what we have going out. What do we have going out this weekend, my love? These things. These things. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dee Dee. This is a nice little offer I woke up to. A pair of Mizuno women's. Athletic shoes. <laughs> uh, you can tell they're basically like new without box. So I did pay $19.99 for these at Goodwill. Okay. But I accepted a $60 offer, so I make $48 after the Poshmark fee, so that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's do all oh, of this gosh, and I already put eBay tape on that box. Not that it really matters. I'm gonna grab out some so I don't have to do this every time. <laughs> Shoebox. Okay, D A. Sold one of these Nike Trail T-shirts. I had a cost of goods of eight ninety two in this for retail arbitrage. I did have several. Well, I had at least four or five. There's one left. So um, this one I accepted a twenty dollar offer on Poshmark. So like a seven dollar profit. Okay. Not horrible for retail yeah. arbitrage with multi quantity. Yeah. Okay. Okay, AS. So this was, I think, my first sale of my. Which you may or may not have seen at this <laughs> yeah. point. My 105 item challenge. In a challenge video. Yeah. So yeah. Listed 105 items. I expected like five or so to sell like the first day. None sold the first day or the next day after that. <laughs> but then like the third day, two of them sold. So this was the first. Uh, the brand is, I don't really know how you say this. I think it's Jacotti. That's kind of what the tag looks like if it would focus. Jacotti, maybe. Yeah. So anyways, I got this from the bins. Anything I got from the bins for this specific challenge, I put as no cost of goods and I put my cost of goods on other items that I had found. Okay. Just because I was trying to keep my cost of goods low for this specific challenge. Yeah. Anyways, that sold for $25, free shipping on Kitizen. And I did ship through Pirate Ship for $4.28. So probably making around $18, $17, $18 on that. Okay. Not horrible. Yeah, and since you did bring up the challenge video, I did want to update everybody. We did record it, all that uh, fun stuff. I went to edit it and... I realized that the video was, uh, look, so <laughs> I was putting all the clips together and um, realized that the video of us talking in between actually doing the challenge was almost an hour and a half. <laughs> like it was an hour and like 18 minutes. So I made the decision that we're going to scrap all the in between stuff. We're going to use the GoPro footage and um, kind of record after the fact and show you guys what was going on just to make the video a lot more legible and less boring and not like three hours long <laughs> so um just got to give us a little bit of time to get that all figured out and edited but that video is coming out it is something we're working on so yeah we kind of wanted to put that out today monday yeah the fifth but it's not going to happen today. So not today. you might actually see this video before you see that video. Very I'm likely. Not exactly sure, but yeah. yeah. We're still trying to figure it out, iron it out. Yeah. We're going to script it. wants to watch an hour and a half, like in right. the beginning of the video before we kind of knew anything. Because it was a challenge. Like we didn't know what it was going to be yeah. like. Yeah. Honestly, even what we were going to say, we don't really, you know, we just kind of go with the we flow. We go off the cuff. We do. So yeah in the beginning of the video that we did record that day we were like oh this will probably be like 20 to 30 minutes and then an hour and 20 to 30 minutes no, yeah he's gonna watch that not yep. including the gopro footage of the time that's episode. not including the actual work so that's just a two hour video the in between i think it would have been more like a three hour <laughs> or like two or three really long videos which yeah. i didn't want to do so it's it's a really good video yeah. we just have to like do a lot of work Make to it, it. Make sense. yeah so. so hopefully you guys will watch it when it yeah. comes out and hopefully it's <laughs> no more than what like 45 minutes or so that it's kind of i'm, I'm shooting for under 30 between 20 and 30. okay so that's that's the goal <laughs> <laughs> that's i think that's a good watchable time for yeah. a video all right well i sold this starbucks um tumbler 
This is one of their holiday ones for this year. It's funny, we actually went to Starbucks this morning and I had enough points to get a new one, which Chris got. He picked that one. Yeah, I don't know if I could focus that far away <laughs> yeah. with this new Anyways, setting. Of, well, I'll just get it. It's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, this one is the one I'm going to be listing today. Anyways. But then as we were there, this one sold, which I thought was cool. But they yeah. had more of these on the shelf, like four or five. So usually if there's a bunch on the shelf, that's probably not one that's that exciting. Uh -huh. When I bought this one, the day I bought this one, this was the only one left on the shelf. And because I sold the mushroom one so well with the topper, I was like, oh, this is probably a good one. Yeah. And the comps were decent. I sold this for $34.95 plus shipping. I paid $4.95 for it. So yeah, it was good. But yeah, I didn't want to buy that again since they had so many on the shelves and it's holiday and by the time it might sell, it might be after Christmas. So right. that one seems like it has really good comps and really good sell through. So hopefully that one sells really fast. Yeah, and we actually sat down and did our to-do list while we were there. Yeah. And we also looked at some really high sold comps of just the highest selling yeah. ones, right? So like, I'm just mentioning it because if you see the one with, what is it, a fox on the top? Oh, yeah, it said holiday 22. Holiday 2022, it had like a Almost, fox. Yeah, we'll put the screenshot. Yeah, I'll put a screenshot of it here. <laughs> I haven't seen that one, obviously. I but can't remember, it was like $400. No, like 900 900 Oh yeah. my gosh, so <laughs> there was a couple. below that one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Normally the ones that are going for a lot are like older ones that people just always liked and are trying to find. But yeah, yeah to have one from holiday 2022 to sell for that much, that's right. crazy. Uh, it must be like super rare. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. I've never seen the mushroom one again either. Right. I sold that one, which that one only sold for what? I should have listed that's it for $900. <laughs> I should have <laughs> saved it, honestly. <laughs> that probably would have been worth more a year or two down the line. Yeah. I'm not one to wait around. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's going UPS, so I need to find a box. This is also going UPS. Pair of uh, new women's sneakers. I bought for $9.99, sold this for $39.95 plus ship. I'm pretty confident I just ended and relisted these because I saw they were down to like $27 maybe, and I was like, these always sell for like 40 bucks at least, 40 to 50. Mm -hmm. So I dropped the price to 40. Well, I upped the price to 40. I think I originally started them at like, 50 they didn't sell then i ended relisted at 40 and they sold for 39.95 plus ship a couple days later cool so yeah just because something didn't sell doesn't mean it's not a good item or whatever sometimes just the right person's not looking and if your item's older it's going to be further down in the search so putting it as a new listing helps that out yeah all right top shelf north face boots also, if the footage is looking different, um, <laughs> I went to open our old software, which I, I don't record with the normal Apple camera with my phone, I'd use an iPhone. And the app updated on its own. I'll just take the camera over here. The app updated on its own and it changed to a monthly or a weekly subscription. They wanted to start charging me $1.99 a week to be able to access the videos that I record with it. I've been using this app for over two years now and I paid for it. It was like $15 when I bought it, but uh, I'm not doing $2 a week. So bear with us. I, our video might go through a few transitions here in the next few videos, just trying to figure out what's gonna work. But uh, if things do look different, that's what's going on. It's and funny, like two dollars a week. That's only like a hundred bucks a year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but for something I already paid for. That's what I, I'm it not gonna. Annoying. It's annoying. I'm not <laughs> so, gonna do that. <laughs> now we're gonna spend hours and hours finding a new program <laughs> instead of paying. He's gonna pay the dollar ninety nine guys. He's I'm gonna hold out and hope that enough people complain and they'll yeah. go back. If they go back, I'll use it again. I know so. you were telling me a lot of people left a bad review yeah. in the last couple of days, huh? And I'm going to also. Yeah. because that's ridiculous <laughs> anyways what's not ridiculous is i sold these north face boots uh for 50 dollars on posh i did pay for these at goodwill 25 dollars. i thought i could get more like 60 to 70 yeah which i probably could have if i held out a little bit more but when i pay 25 i kind of want to get my money back pretty quickly yeah. so i'm making 40 so it's like a 15 dollar profit on a like I would buy these again, even to just sell for a fifteen dollar profit. Right. They're just pretty much a sure thing. They got a little dust on them. See, like right here, the camera's trying to focus on respec there. Reese. <laughs> and it defocuses on Kathy, and I go, "Oh, that's cool! I can switch back and forth." All right, I'm trying to think. Do you think it would fit in here? Maybe like a large flat rate, or I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm just trying to figure out the camera. 
<laughs> I'm a little distracted. All right. Um, yeah, boots always are kind of a weird shape. We'll try this box for them. All righty. And we're going to box F. Very duck boots. I did pay $10 for these. I sold them for $24 on Posh. That was an offer someone sent. They first sent an offer of $20, to which I countered like $28 or $30 or something. And they came back at $24. I like to at least make $10, especially on shoes. I think I'm making $9. So I wasn't going <laughs> to not take the offer right. after that. So I went ahead and took it. So yeah. Sperry isn't like a super. I don't know. High end desirable. Yeah, it usually sells 25 to 30. Yeah. Nothing crazy, and it usually takes a while. So, all right, we got a viewer sale. Very nice. Yeah, we had several actually this weekend. You guys are awesome. <laughs> this is an Australian Shepherd, right? Uh, I'm trying to focus on it. <laughs> Is it? Sure. It's a blurry <laughs> Australian Shepherd. <laughs> I'll take some screenshots from viewer sales that what they said this weekend. So let me see. Uh, so this is going out to Dorothy. Thank you so much, Dorothy. She just said, hey, Kathy, thanks for the offer. So, yeah, she got the Posher VA offer. I watch your YouTube videos. We have too many Aussies, Suki and Kona. Awesome. Hey <laughs> Suki Kona. Reese, say hi to Suki and Kona. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I realize the figure is of a full-size Aussie, but reminds me of my two things so much. Happy holidays, Dottie. Thank you so much, Dottie. Awesome. Um, hope your pups are doing well. <laughs> Dottie, thank you so much for that support. And just for watching our videos. Yeah. Oh, he just said thank you way back on there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> um, that's kind of small, so I'll probably find one of our little boxes in the closet for that this because I have other screenshots I'm going <laughs> to refer to I know okay oh no you sold I these know, don't tell Connor <laughs> and I know last night I was laying with Connor and he was making me watch our videos which is I don't like to watch myself on the camera so and then I was thinking about like I knew I sold these this week and I was like I hope he doesn't watch that next video because <laughs> I don't want him to see that I sold these because he wanted them. Yeah. He tried them on he and he did. didn't really. He just, he didn't seem like he liked them. So right. I'm going to keep them in his closet just for him to not like them. So Connor, if you're watching <laughs> this, we love you so much. Yes, and you have a hundred other pairs of shoes you can wear. So we'll find you some other cool yeah, shoes. These are pretty cool shoes though. Um, they are Adidas, but they're Lego like collab with Adidas. I did pay $14.99 for these at Goodwill just because they were basically brand new and I was intending to keep them for him, which $15 for a pair of nice shoes for your kid is great. Yeah. Anyways, since they didn't work out for him, I did sell them on Posh for $47 with discount shipping. Okay. So still really good for a pair of kids shoes. Yeah. You know what's interesting? Um, <laughs> right after you told me the other night, was it last night or whenever you told me that those sold? Yeah. I got an ad on my phone, one of these creepy situations, right? <laughs> for those, but boots, like snow boots, but the Lego oh, Adidas. I saw those, I saw that ad. Yeah. That's funny. So. So creep creepy. Creepy. <laughs> creepy. Creepy. Big brother. Is on my brother. phone, right? Like that, like I can understand it being on your phone cause you, you know, all the data tracking or whatever, but yeah. my phone? I don't Come know. Come on now. <laughs> Uh, I sold these Vans. I did pay $12.99 for these. I figured I could get somewhere between $30 and $40. Hoping closer to $40, but I did accept a $30 offer. So it's only about, what's that, like a $10, $12 profit, okay. which I'm fine with. Yeah. But yeah, I knew these would sell fast. Just a good style, and they're kind of a platform. So sweet. Quick sale. Those sold in definitely less than the first 30 days, which is great for me. A medium flat rate box and go to box Y. Uh, these are the brand Melissa. So I bought these for $4.99 and sold them for $35 on Posh. Full list price. So our mini Melissa's, yeah, the small, the, the kids' version of that. Okay. So Makes sense. The kids ones, <laughs> at least they used to sell better. I actually haven't had good luck with the mini ones. 
very recently either. I mean, I'd still pick them up for the right price. I did not think these would sell for 35, but I'm glad they did. That's a good yeah. price for those. So yeah, they're just like a jelly type flat. Do a medium flat rate. And we have a viewer sale going out to Stephanie, Sassy Granny, who just bought our little Hulk thing. Oh yeah, day. for her grandson, David, I believe. Yeah. And I'm assuming maybe this shirt is for him too. I don't know. So she grabbed a crew cut shirt. That was our son's. And then also this, which I love. <laughs> The colors are oh, yeah. on this, and it's just a really nice, thick flannel with like. Well, first off, I love when they're snaps versus like buttons. Oh and yeah. Fleece lining is just really soft and just a really nice shirt. Very nice. So, anyways, I did pay eleven ninety nine for the shirt, and the shirt that was my son's, I probably paid ten to fifteen for. Uh, Stephanie bought both for forty five eighty eight plus shipping. So thank you so much for another purchase. Awesome. Stephanie, thank you so much for all the support. We appreciate it. Thank you. And I think I was going to ship that out in just like a large mailing box. Cool. Okay. DH is over here. It's over there. I just kind of trick you. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> you juked me. All right, this is an Umzi cardigan, which I only bought because it was new with tag. It's out for a really long time. I paid $5.50 for it. It's over $23 with discount shipping. Probably had it close to a year. So glad to see it go to its new home. Thank you, Tyrek like Miller. And then go to BF. Uh-oh, that one's stuffed in there, huh? You grabbed it. Probably did. <laughs> All right, this is the, the second item to sell of my 100 item challenge. I bought these Sorrel boots for $6.99. Sold them for $30 with discount shipping on Poshmark. Sweet. Yeah. Two out of 105. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are out of both. <laughs> yeah, honestly, because I did kids stuff for the video. Yeah. I didn't expect that, like, I expected some things to sell fast, but honestly, I think it's going to take a year before it all sells off. Yeah. A hundred percent. Um, so yeah, the original A-Box there. Top shelf Merrill boots. I see them. <laughs> Reese, I see them. There they are. He does not care. <laughs> Unless they have a... You know what in them? <laughs> I won't say that word out loud. <laughs> All right, these are some nice men's Merrell snow boots. Merrell? Yeah. Merrell? I don't know. Merrell? That's these a mushroom. For $10 <laughs> at a local thrift shop and sold them for 75 plus shipping on Mercari. So, really good sale there. Sweet. So, here, more space. And yeah, those are going UPS, so I'll find a box after we're done. Okay, got another viewer sale. CR. I feel like I'm gonna say your name wrong. I think it's Anya. Okay. Let me know if that's wrong in the comments. But yeah, um, she said, I just discovered your account a few months ago. I absolutely love watching. Love you guys have taught me so much. I am a 20 year old and was able to turn reselling into my full-time job. Wow. Now absolutely love reselling and can't wait to see how much i grow my store in the next few years thanks so much that Thank is awesome <laughs> anya that made me really happy yeah so could you uh, imagine where we would be if I we know. did this when we were 20. i know <laughs> every time i think about it i'm like so sad i didn't know about yeah it. so that is amazing congratulations is. and yeah i'm excited to see where yeah in the next few years so let us know if you have like an instagram i can follow or absolutely we love to follow yeah. that kind actually, of actually everybody like yes anybody that's watching if you have any Instagram, just drop it in the comments and we can start a little follow train. Yay. All right, so Anya, again, if I'm saying your name wrong, I'm so sorry. Bought this for $47.96 plus shipping. The brand is Oriana. I don't know, I only bought this because it was new at Tag and it was like a wool blend, nice cardigan. But yeah, I bought it for $4.50 and she bought it for $47.96 plus shipping. So thank awesome. You so thank you so much for all the awesome support. Yes. And 
good luck. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, it seems like you're on the right track. You're already full time. <laughs> that's, that's really hard and you should be really, really hard. on the track for great success. Very good. Yes. Okay, headed to BB. BB, Reese, Reese. He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Oh yeah, we still have not uh, done our calendar yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fifth now. This could not sell, but it's been in there for like ever, and we're about to have a few white elephants. So I'm just oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I listed that on eBay, but I know it's not currently listed, so I don't know if it delisted yeah. itself or I delisted and never put it back up. But it never sold. Coffee donut. It was like a bins fine, and I knew it wasn't gonna sell for much. Anyways, I just like picking up new box stuff like that. So. Yeah. Now somebody will get it at a white elephant. I did so sell sold. I <laughs> I did sold this, right? <laughs> I sailed sold these Vibram uh, five finger shoes that we bought at a garage sale over the summer for two dollars. I sold them for twenty one plus shipping on Mercari. Awesome. Yeah, these were not in like the greatest shape, so normally I can get like forty or so for this kind of a shoe. Yeah. But yeah, I was happy with two into twenty one on those. You know, with our luck, we're going to get this thing back at the end of the white <laughs> elephant exchange. No, there's two of us. We're going to team up and make sure we don't get that bag. <laughs> A.E. Lisa Frank. Yeah, this thing. So I got this for free. Um, someone locally on, like, our neighborhood type page was had, like, two huge stuffed animal like trash bag, like garbage, like the ones you fill up with like gardening stuff. Oh yeah. Full of stuffed animals and they were just giving them away for free. And um, I normally don't get in line for stuff like that. But right. It had been over a day that it was posted. Nobody else commented. So I was like, I'll grab them if you still have them. They did. They offered to even drop them on our doorstep, which yeah. is awesome. So <laughs> they're like, we need to get rid <laughs> yeah, of these. <laughs> they to get rid of them real bad. So, uh, it did take me a while to sort them out. Most of them were just basic yeah you know, something you buy at walmart for like easter that you're never gonna play with after the day of right but so those ones i just donated and then i did keep maybe five or six things out of all of them mm -hmm. this is one of them this is little lisa frank like beanie baby and this sold for 15 dollars plus shipping so i'm making like 12 something um i did when i first found this see a comp for like 40 or 50 dollars on ebay for the exact one mm. so I was hoping for that when I found it, but that's okay. Yeah. It's all free and profit for me. So, yeah. Love free profit. I don't want to lick my finger. That'd be gross. <laughs> I don't know why do I have such a hard time deciding what nail is? It's not like they're all really cute. Yeah. Okay. Box T. This thing saps forever. You know, I say I'm going to pick up all sizes, but men's small does not sell. It never sells. It yeah. sells after like two years always. So yeah, this is a Marmot men's polo shirt, new with tag. Bought it retail arb trash for seven, sat for probably two plus years, and finally sold for $14.98 plus shipping. So Wow, well, yeah. Yeah. I If this was a men's XL, XXL, this would have sold in probably the first month for like $25. So Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be more selective going forward, but I'm going to put men's stuff in like one of these. All right. You have to, you know? I, I, no, do. Really. <laughs> I have to. CW. All right, this is a viewer sale going out to Christine. I know you left me a message too. All right, Christine says, I watch your YouTube videos while I'm at work. I started reselling in August and I've learned a lot from you and other resellers. Thanks for taking the time to help others like me. Happy holidays. Awesome, Christine. So Christine. Oh yeah, so she grabbed these Skechers. I love the color on these. And I bought them for $6.99. Christine bought them for 28 plus ship on Mercari. Cool, Christine, thank you so much for that support and while watching us at work. Yes. We're glad we can keep you company. <laughs> Yeah, who else do you watch? I heard you say other resellers. Yeah. So leave them down below so other people can follow them too. <laughs> this is that other turtle for I remember the other day when I like messed up. Oh, they both sold that close together. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So this one also came from the bins. This is a little kiddo one. I bought for $1.37. So for $5.88 plus shipping. So like three something profit. But Woo! I love picking up this <laughs> stuff at the bins. It lowers my whole average cost of goods for the day. And it still sells just, yeah. you know, sometimes beanies you can get 20 bucks for. And they cost like nothing at the bins. So. Alrighty. There we go. A couple more. DR. Oh, uh, yeah. In the closet. Don't show them all the mess. What mess? <laughs> Not oh. that mess. <laughs> oh, guys, we Wait, need that storage that unit. We literally just cleaned that the other day when we were looking for that one lost item. <laughs> and then we got a bunch more boxes from your mom, and I just threw them in there, I think. Yeah. All right. These are a pair of Patagonia, the Capoline base layer piece. These were not in great shape. I don't know if they had a stain. The waistband was kind of weird. Anyways, they were not in great shape, but they're from the bins and they're Patagonia. So I grabbed them. I have a dollar thirty-seven cost of goods, and but I grabbed them actually. Kristen, a rural squirrel. Thank you, Kristen, oh. if you're watching. Uh, handed me these. So awesome. When we were there together, they sold for nine forty-eight plus shipping after a while. So still making a little profit on Sweet. those. Sweet. I can't leave Patagonia at the bins. So. Yeah, Kristen, what are you doing? Tossing us yeah. Patagonia. <laughs> We appreciate that. <laughs> we do. I know. Kristen's always, she always has me good stuff. Um, yeah. I don't know why. She could just keep it. Like, I remember one time she handed me this little the Boyd's squirrel? Bears ornament. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, so Boyd's Bears, normally I wouldn't necessarily pick them up. Apparently the ornaments do really well, though. And it sold, like, within minutes of being listed. And so then I was like, oh, I underpriced it. <laughs> that's okay. I think she just likes selling stuff that she likes to sell. Yeah, so she does. It makes sense. And I think that's the right way to do it. Because you buy stuff that you don't like to sell, that's the stuff that ends up in a pile in your closet. So. True, I have one of those. <laughs> I think everyone kind of has one. Huh? I think everyone has one. Even the people things that say they, they don't. It's like <laughs> the things that I have in my pile are good things. It's just like, I don't want to. Like, I have yeah. a Christian Dior robe in one of these bins that's been there for months. <laughs> I just don't like listing robes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, I sold a bundle. This person didn't say anything like they were a viewer, but three items I always assume. So, yeah. Alexa, if you're a viewer, thank you. Uh, but yeah, she got a pair of Clark's Chelsea booties. Um, a pair of Nike slide sandals and a pair of Frank's men's swim chunks. So Ooh. these were retail arbitrage I bought for seven. The slides were mine, but I did buy them at Goodwill. I'm pretty sure I paid like $5.99 for those. And then the Clarks I had, um, $9.78. That must have been an average cost of goods because that's a random <laughs> that number. That is a so random yeah. number. About twenty dollars ish and uh, twenty three eighty four is what I have into all three and um, Alexa offered ninety so awesome I was very happy with that Alexa again if you do happen yeah. to be a viewer we thank you so much for that support thank you. and if you're not a viewer we still thank you anyway that's it that's the last one that's the last one all right so we're gonna take a few minutes get the stuff all packed up and then we'll come back and we'll close her out. All right. All righty, guys, got everything all nicely packed and stacked. Oh, we did have another, I was gonna ask you, I didn't know. He went potty in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, this is just one of my son's old shirts. Uh, the brand is Summer in May. And I sold it for $25 plus shipping on Mercari. I probably paid about 30 for it though, but he got to wear it. I made some money back. All is well. All is well. Ooh, should I give them a sun mailer because it's like a sun? It's almost the same exact like sun, it too. Was meant to be. Look at that. Put them side by side. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. same artwork. It was meant to be. Shipping hip. Code Ginger 15 gets you 15% <laughs> off. I actually don't know if they still have this print or not. But they have most of these, I believe. Look at that. So Label goes stuff. on. This is how easy it is, guys. That's how easy it is. We do pre-pack everything, so all we gotta do is slide it in, seal, seal it, it up. Time-consuming if we didn't do the pre-bagging and stuff. Yeah. That takes time on the front end, but makes shipping things super easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Reese, you're interrupting. <laughs> you wanna go to the bins? I think, I think he's jealous that we didn't take him to Starbucks this oh. morning. Are you jealous? 
anyway we're gonna get this stuff off to the post office and kathy is gonna try to make it down to the bins we uh we're on day why is this not focusing <laughs> all right reese you're moving around too much you're messing up my camera because it's not your app thingy that you're used to that you don't want to pay ten dollars a week for <laughs> i did just leave a very bad review not a bad one i just my thoughts on the app um just we'll see we'll see if they go back but even if they go back i don't know if i want to i don't know if i want to keep supporting that lost app trust. I've, they've lost my trust yes <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're going to get that stuff off to the post office. Kathy's going to go work on day three of the bins, miss. And uh, I'm going to be editing episode two and another what's sold. we got a lot of videos coming out. Right. So we were talking about the, this morning, like, um, cause we want all the, the, the bins, the, miss, the, bins miss, <laughs> like, the vlog miss stuff it called? Yeah, to go up before Christmas, yeah. which means even though we're recording the what's sold in between, they might not go up like. Right. So it could be like a week after the sales happened. Yeah. If you're a viewer, we are still thinking. Yep. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, it might be like a week or even two behind. Yeah. Just we hang tight. Think. We're we're excited about the whole vlogmas bins thing. Yeah. And yeah, gonna get uh, what is it? Twelve times at the bins before Christmas. So yeah, that's that's gonna be it for today. We gotta get to work, get the stuff off to the post office, go down to the bins, edit videos, all that fun stuff, guys. Thank you so much for all of the support. We do appreciate every bit of it, and we can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.